Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Virgos, welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. The third week in November could be as you see this video or could be from the 16th till the 23rd. As well, we do have a change quite a big this week from the zodiac sign of Scorpio to the zodiac sign of Sag. So the sun is moving into Sagittarius. A lot of movement as well, a lot of planets here that have been till this point retrograde goes direct, inclusive Jupiter, inclusive Venus and the Mercury, which is not retrograde, but moves in the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. We, however, have Mars in retrograde, which retrogrades in Gemini's. And that very much doesn't affect you, but certain things here that you might want to do, take action towards, might. That being said, Virgos, let's see and move forward and get into whatever is there for you, whatever the universe brings, whatever the spirit wants you to know for this particular week. Now, always, always, these are for general energy, general insights. My highly resonate with you, might be here and there a message. Decisions, two of ones. For some of you, you made a decision already. For others of you, you are deciding. And it seems here the next two weeks will be quite crucial. Six of wands, the smack up in the middle card, three of pentacles, two of swords, four of pentacles, and the hermit. Look at this major arcana of yours which is the only one underneath we have two of wands underneath we have the five of pentacles so for some of you yes you are living a situation which really felt quite a big mark on your energy and it's kind of like well i do deserve much better and indeed you do there's also here certain things here that I'm holding back, I'm not quite good, I'm not this, or this will not work, or I'm not for this. And I feel here most likely to put in effort into certain things. And yes, the movement is happening, the shift is happening, but it's kind of like you're still guessing, is this the way I need to go? Is this the right way? Let's see here why you're holding back here with this Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Swords, Four of Swords. So it seems here there is a, a quite good offer on the horizon for you. But instead of, no, 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 this is not good for me, take some time to reflect. So the energy very strongly speaks of before you say no, before you reject whatever is there, or before you think to do something, it's more likely think. The Hermit energy here speaks of Five of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Fool. Yes, certain things here. It's more likely you make a decision, loves, not based on what is presented, but based on what you leave behind or based on, based on the past. But I feel here with the page of wands and the fool, it's kind of like, it's worth to give it a shot. Speak more, because the hermit and the five of cups doesn't really speak. It's more likely, do I need this? But I feel here the light comes with the conversation. And the fool very, very strongly speaks of it is quite worthy to, to give it a shot. No expectations. Have a trial of whatever it is. And might really work out. 
you never know. The Six of Wands here, speaking of Six of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, and Queen of Wands. It's like you, you don't really trust whatever it's putting here on the table. You don't really trust it. But the Queen of Wands is kind of like, now is the time for you, loves. Because I feel here for, for the Virgo I'm speaking here, you might have strongly fiery in the chart. Could be Leo in the chart, could be Aries in the chart. The fact is with the Six of Swords, Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, there's something here you, you really need to consider it. And it's more likely that energy of play your cards right. So you have the winning in your hands. The Five of Pentacles here speaks of Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. You, it's kind of whatever you needed to lose, you lost anyway. That's the thing here. Do you need more time to stay wherever you were? Might not be the case. So Virgo, it seems here that Yes, comes an offer. You might not be super interested or very interested. And before turning down the offer, probably to look into my work way better than you thought. So the energy here could shift beautifully into something much better. Another thing here which we... I see here in your reading, we have the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands is the one missing. And I feel here there is a lot of competition around this offer or around this proposal kind of. But the fact is that you are the one chosen means that all that, you know, crowdish energy or that competition goes behind or it's swept away and that's quite an honor to be considered in this kind of things works beautifully absolutely for some of you you might feel here like i don't want to deal with so many people or i don't want to be in the spotlight i don't want this but you know sometimes we don't feel so but I feel here this could work amazingly beautiful for the future. Because sometimes certain things here are coming in and might bring you the missing piece from the puzzle. So this week is very, very important what you choose to keep, what you, keep, what you choose to let go. And as well, whatever decision you are making it, it's more likely to not have big expectations. One, another thing here, to not make this decision based on what you've gone through or you've been through, but more likely, well, it's a new chance, it's a new day, it's a gift. So take it as a gift offer. The advice we have, Nine of Pentacles, be confident in your own skills. Sun, be happy for the moment. Enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. And honestly, whatever here is presenting really comes like a, a life changing for many, many Virgos. So Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. So your life could be changed in one day, in one year. So for some of you, it could be the beginning of a whole new great energy that will lead to something marvelous. Taking the chance, taking the risk, why not? Because the fool that very much speaks. There's also here a Virgo here who over analyzing everything. 
I'm putting on the table, I'm counting, I'm calculating things. So at this time might not be the case too, because the fool is kind of like, give it a try out. So that might be kind of like, yes, I'm glad I have this. Let's do a tryout. If works, we'll continue. If doesn't, either way. So you have nothing to lose because it seems here you, you lost already something. Doesn't feel like you, you're gonna lose something to have whatever is here. So the beginning of something new looks quite uplifting. The best advice from the oracles there's also here a Virgo who is like, yeah, 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 miracles doesn't exist. Well, they do. And you'll be quite surprised sometimes. Journey by moonlight. Look at this. Believe in magic. Because sometimes certain things we can't see. But most likely they do exist and they're coming. We can feel them. And underneath we have Vasta Vistas, Expand Your Horizons. And... Very strongly speaks here with expanding your horizons, like look into the future, look out there, and you'll see much more. So loves, you are in a place where you need to be, okay? And look at this. Great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. You might not feel here that it's good or not, but hey, why not? Let's go forward. So Virgos, that's what I have for you for this coming week. I hope this resonates. If it does, give it a like, subscribe, share it, and let us know how you feel about it. Namaste.